Everyone can keep eating. I just need your ears for a little bit. So enjoy your food. Um, if you need to get up and get more food, go for it all the way up until, until it's time for our presentation. And then we'll try to be really respectful for Sharon while she's giving her demo. No, well, we don't want to be like getting up a ton and throwing things in the bucket and, you know, we try to be respectful. But for right now, enjoy. I uh, just want to make a couple announcements. Uh, first of all, the food. It's always good, but I mean, in my personal opinion, it was like slamming today. Really good food. Yeah, I, I enjoyed it. Thanks, everybody. And plenty of it, too. There's plenty of food today. Um, so we did have a winner for our contest. And if you're, if you're new to this potluck, if this is your first time, just a little reminder, everything on the table uh, is vegetarian or vegan. Usually it's all vegan. Uh, so you can feel really good about what you're eating too. Uh, so the winner, drum roll please. The chickpea chili. Who is that? Woo, magenta, yeah. <laughs> Nice. So, I've got your gift card. From Eat Healthy for $25 from John and PJ. Aw, thank Quick. you. So, we already have our speaker for next month. And I'm not going to talk too much about that because they want the focus on this speaker for today, Sharon, but I have the flyers uh, over here. Um, just to give you the title, it'll be Beat Cancer with Your Fork by Paul Schmittendorf. He's not here today, but he's been coming to meetings for about five years, and he works with an organization called BeatCancer.org. So it'll be really good uh, from a medical standpoint, a medical side of things, good information, good data, current up-to-date research and stuff. So I've got a few of them over here. And along those lines, I need help getting the word out. So we've really enjoyed having this get together in this meeting, and we want it to continue. I know I do, and I can only do so much. And we have so many places on the island with community boards and info boards and places where you can put events, and I can't get to them all. So if you live near a place like that where there's an info board, community board, if you work at a school where there's a board, Anything you can think of, please take one or two and, and put it up so that we can spread the word around. Uh, and when you start to see it being posted, share it. Share the post so we can spread the word and let people know. Because uh, we get visitors who come to the island who are vegan, like Kelly, <laughs> over here in the meadow with her cool Prince shirt, vegan club shirt. Um, she does a vegan potluck in Alaska. And so she came to visit here and just searched for what was going on here that's, you know, vegan events and stuff, found the Vegetarian Society, <coughs> dug for the events, and found our potluck. So we want to make it easy. It was a little harder for her, but we want to make it easy on people to see what's going on and to find our potluck like that. So we want it to be everywhere. So I've got them over there if you can help out with that. I also have a volunteer sign-up sheet. So I know I mentioned it already, but if you think there's anything you'd like to do to help or you're not sure but you just want to support the group, then put your name down uh, and trust me, I'll be in touch. There's, there's things you can help with. Um, if you can commit, for example, to just like one small area, like a little radius where you can put the flyers up, that's huge. That really helps a lot. If you can even say, I'll put this flyer at two places every month, that's huge. So keep that in mind. Um, Let's see, what else? Oh yeah, our membership discounts. Uh, I sent out a list. Did anybody get the new discount list that I sent out? No, okay, that's not good. All right, I'll resend the list. But basically, as you know, if you're a member, there are a bunch of discounts on the island. Not just this island, you know, all the islands. But here we've got a pretty good list of discounts. Uh, Vim and Vigor is one of them. The Healthy Hut is one of them. Eat Healthy is one of them. A bunch of other places. And it's $25 for the year. So it's really cheap when you consider how much gets saved over the course of the year. We have membership booklets over here. You can do it using the paper or you can go online and do it. I've got tons of literature out. 
So please take a look at the literature. Uh, if something interests you, take it. Um, if you brought a dish, that was your entry to this potluck, so thank you very much. And if you didn't, uh, the entry is a suggested donation of around $10. Um, um, so today we're going to do a food demo in the Instant Pot. And while that's going on too, I wanted to share some information about oil-free cooking. Um, and so we're kind of going to be going back and forth between the demo and the slides. So this is actually a pressure cooker, and if you don't have one, it's okay. You can do this on the stove. It's not a big deal, but I love it so much that I had to bring it. <laughs> so um, it's off right now, and there's many different settings on here, but first we're going to make a lasagna soup. I'm all about making quick, kid-friendly things. I have two boys, one's 15, one's nine. I'm driving constantly after school to all their events and all their practices and so I want when they get home I want something healthy ready and that I'm it's already done all right so we're going to push it to the saute now none of this is going to actually get hot um, and in saute mode it's kind of like you're sauteing on the stove and instead of using oil, you normally use a little bit of olive oil or whatever oil to saute your vegetables. We're gonna use a little bit of water, all right? So we're just gonna put a little bit of water in there. Do the kid, does somebody wanna come help me saute? Yeah, come here. <laughs> What's your name? Hi, I'm Auntie Sharon, come. You can just stand right over here because I'm going to hand you this stuff in the front. All right, so this is going to heat up in a little bit. Um, it's not hot right now, but don't touch anything over there. All right, so what is this that we have? What do you think? Lettuce. Lettuce. This is onions, honey. Smell. <laughs> All right, so we have about uh, half of an onion. So he's going to put that in there. All of it? All of it, yeah. And okay, get the spoon and get the rest out of there. All right. Do you like onions? You do? Okay. Perfect. I'll take the empty. I want you to give it a good stir, okay? And then to that, we're going to add about four cloves of garlic that I just minced up. Do you like garlic? A lot. A lot? Okay. Put that in there. All right. Get it all out because we want lots of flavor. We're not using oil, so we want to put a lot of flavor into our dish. So we're using lots of onion and we're using lots of garlic. Just scrape it out. <laughs> all right, and then in order to draw a little bit of moisture out of the onion, we're going to put a pinch of salt. Can, can you get a pinch of salt? There you go. A little bit bigger pinch. A little bit bigger, a little bit more. Okay, put that in there. Okay, stir that around. There you go. All right, okay, Cynthia, you can, you can stir that, okay, while I'm gonna be talking about the slides. Make sure it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pot, okay? So right now, he's just sauteing some onions and some garlic. But I really wanted to talk to you guys about cooking oils, because I know in our pantry at home, we all have, what, about two, three, four different kinds of cooking oils, right? Um, so cooking oils, um, it can be a plant or animal-based um, oil, and they're usually liquid at room temperature. And we use them for sauteing, and we use them for frying, um, except for the coconut oil that tends to get solid at room temperature. If, you, if it gets kind of cold, you notice it gets solid. All right, next slide, please. Now, there's different types of cooking oils. So we've got our plant-based ones, and then we have our animal ones. And for the purpose of this presentation, I know you guys all know that the animal ones are the ones that have a lot of saturated fat, and those are the ones that are bad for our health. So we're not even gonna be talking about those today. We're gonna be talking about olive oil, all these plant-based ones. How's it looking? Good, you ready to add some veggies? All right, so he's gonna add a cup of mixed vegetables. I have bell pepper, I have zucchini, I have orange bell pepper and a red bell pepper. Just throw that all in there. 
Perfect. Stir it up. And to this, we're going to add a quarter cup of red lentils. I like the red lentils because they cook up really quickly. Um, I use this in like the kids' spaghetti sauce instead of ground beef or ground turkey. They get the red lentils, so they get their protein. Okay, put the red lentils in, sir. Thank you. All right. And then we're also going to put in a cup of diced tomatoes. If you don't want to use the fresh tomatoes, a can of diced tomatoes is perfectly fine. You put that in there. Do you like lasagna? Yeah, okay, that's what we're making. We're making a lasagna soup. All right. And then he's going to add some seasonings. This is just um, Italian seasoning. There you go. Put it all in. Yeah, that's good. All right, and then this one you're going to have to measure. Does it, he says it smells good. <laughs> All right, I'll put in the spice for you. So we got a quarter teaspoon of onion powder, and we have a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. Garlic? Garlic powder, yeah. And then we're going to put in a cup of tomato sauce or your favorite marinara sauce. You might have to scrape that out with a spoon, so pour that all in there. So mom has an instant pot? Awesome. Don't you love it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. And then we're going to put in two cups of vegetable broth. I just got this one because it was the lowest sodium one I could find, but you can use whatever vegetable broth you have. You can pour this whole thing in there. So two cups of vegetable broth. You got it? And then... Here's your big job. Are you ready? Pour it in. All right. So I have five. One, two, three, four, five. Can you break these up into tiny pieces? Here, let me show you one. Okay, hold those. So all you do is you take your lasagna noodle. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> and you break them into small pieces and put them in the pot. Can you do that? Yeah, you do that. Perfect. I'll get all this out of your way for you. Ooh. I know, break them up. <laughs> all right, next slide. Okay, so how are cooking oils made? So the vegetable oil is actually extracted from the plant or the fruit. Um, so for example, if you have some grapes here, they throw away the good part of the grape um, with all the antioxidants and all the nutrition, and you're left with the grape seeds, okay? And then the seeds are stripped of all their ex external material and ground up to get the oil. Next slide, please. So this, for example, um, what they're making is almond oil. So they've ground up all the almonds, and now they're pushing it through a press where they're squeezing out all the oil. Next. All right, and so after they press that through, you're left with what they call an oil cake or a seed cake. And in order to get the most oil out of that, then they have to um, process, process it even more. They press it even more, and they have to add sometimes chemicals to get rid of the color and the odor and the bitterness of the oil. Next. So we're really left, what oil is, <laughs> you did the same thing I did, that's okay. <laughs> so oil is just basically a liquid fat. It doesn't have any nutrition. And we want to keep our intake of oils very low, okay? Because too much oil is not good for our heart. It can lead to some weight gain. Um, its nutrient content is very low. It has nine calories per gram, where carbs and proteins have four calories per gram. Um, and so the excess calories, even from quote-unquote healthy fats, those can lead to weight gain and clogged arteries. How we doing? You got them all in there? No, that one's fine. Let's leave it in there. All right, one more. All right, and so we're just going to give this a big stir. And now we're going to put the lid back on. And then... We're going to close it, and then you can come back when it's all set, okay? Thank you for your help. <laughs> all right. Yeah.
Yay! So what we're going to do is, this is actually going to cook in, we set it for three minutes. It takes about five minutes for it to come up to temperature, and then it'll cook for three minutes, and then it'll be done. Yes. Okay. So one, t oh, sorry. Oh, that's okay. Um, so why do we need to keep our fat intake low? Well, um, high fat intake, especially from the animal-based foods, which I know we don't eat here, but they risk, increase our risk of high blood pressure um, and heart disease, some types of cancers, diabetes. I don't know if you guys remember the last time we talked about diabetes, but it's really uh, caused by the amount of fat getting in our cells, so the insulin can't get in the cell because the fat's clogging it up. Next. Okay, so just some fun facts about oil. So one cup of olive oil has almost 2,000 calories, and one cup of olives has 160. So we're going to get the same benefits, um, even better benefits of eating an olive versus using olive oil because the olive is in its pure whole food form. Um, it hasn't been pressed and stripped of all its nutrition. Coconut oil is 90% saturated fat. Um, I know coconut oil is kind of known to be a health food, but it's not really. It's 90% saturated fat. Um, compare that to butter, which is 63% saturated fat, and beef fat 50%, and pork fat 43%. Um, and you have to go and jog a, a little over a mile to burn off a tablespoon of oil. And then within hours of digesting oil, our arteries can stiffen and their ability to dilate becomes impaired. And vegetable and fruit oils also contain a little bit of saturated fat. So just because it says olive oil or avocado oil, um, yes, it has the healthier fats in there, but it still has some saturated fat. Okay. Now, what about these guys? We all have this in our... We all, huh? We all have this in our pantry, right? Now, this is a better option than pouring oil in a pan, for sure. But I just wanted to make you guys aware, um, this only ingredient in here is olive oil. So how can it say zero calories, zero grams saturated fat, zero grams trans fat? If what we just learned is oil is liquid fat. It's lying. It's serving. Serving. Very good. So if you turn it around and look at the serving size, the serving size is a quarter of a second. second. Quarter of a second. So this is empty because I use this for, but like, I don't know what a quarter of a second would be. Right? It's really little. And when I cook with this, I'm over there, right, on the pan. So just be aware, this is a better product than pouring oil in the pan, but it can be very misleading. Okay. And it's probably not recyclable. It's, it has the little triangle. Not here. Not here. It says steel, so no, it's not aluminum. It's it has aerosol. aerosol. Oh, it's aerosol. Oh, okay. Oh, interesting. Um, so how can we cook without oil? So we can use, like we did today, we can use water to saute our vegetables. You could even use a little vegetable broth to saute them. You can steam vegetables, uh, use nonstick pans. Um, you can just, like how we did today, we added a little bit of salt to bring out some of the liquid in the onions. Bake or roast your veggies on a parchment paper without any oil. And I know when we do roasted veggies, we'll like put olive oil, salt and pepper, and then we bake it. But I've tried it this way, and the vegetables still get that brown color that we really like on there. Um, and use avocados and beans and bananas instead of oil um, in your desserts. Okay. And these are some of the... Um, cookbooks that I really love that are oil free and um, you guys are probably already all familiar with these with these cookbooks um, So this is going to take a little bit of time to come up to temperature, but what goes on top of the the soup is a kale pesto, so I wanted to demo that 
So this is an oil-free pesto, because I know um, a lot of pestos use a lot of olive oil in there. So just to make it a little bit healthier, we're going to do an oil-free one. So we're going to put in a clove of garlic. And what I like to do is drop it in with the blade running so that it gets all chopped up. That way we're guaranteed we're not going to bite into a big chunk of garlic. Because I've done that before. <laughs> all right. So to this, we are going to add, um, you can use, I forgot to use my gloves. You can use basil, but I like to use kale or spinach just because I have two boys and I try to get as much vegetables in them as possible. So, but whatever dark green or herb that you want to use in this, that's going to be fine. So for tonight's one, we're actually using um, about a cup or two cups of kale. So we're going to take the kale and we're going to put that in there. And then we're going to add a little bit of salt. And we're going to add lemon juice. If, oh, here, a couple tablespoons of lemon juice. And what's going to make the basil creamy, um, the pesto creamy, is we're using beans. So I have a mixture of white beans or garbanzo beans. And we're just going to put in about half a cup or so of the beans. We're going to test that out. We might add a little bit more later. Is that soaked or cooked or what? These are the canned beans, just because to cheat a little bit. But you could do your own beans, the dry ones, in your instant pot. <laughs> and then we're going to put a couple tablespoons. This is the nutritional yeast. You guys like that? <laughs> and we're going to put a little bit of pepper. And that's it. All right. And this is our pesto. We can add a little bit of water if you want it a little bit more silky consistency. And did you guys save room for samples? Are you guys all full? Yes, you did? OK. Where's my helper? You ready to help? OK. So I have some of the lasagna already made. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit in each of these. And then on top, we're going to put a little bit of the pesto and serve it like that. OK. So do you want to scoop the pesto? OK, so I'll scoop the lasagna. And then, so you put right on top, put just like a little dot. Like that? Ah, a little bit more. Be generous. We get plenty. Just put it right on top there. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Did they all get rid of their forks? some spinach. Okay, get ready to add that. Not yet. And we're going to add in some nutritional yeast. So we're going to put in one tablespoon. Okay. Okay, hold on. Almost ready. What do you put your nutritional yeast with? What do you... What do you, you put it on your spaghetti? Yeah? Okay. That's a really great idea. And vegan meatballs you put it in? Maybe you need to be the guest um, speaker next month. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> so do you cook? You help dad cook then? Yeah, you help dad cook. Oh, that's really great. Where do you go to school? You do homeschool? How old are you? Eight. You're eight years old? That's awesome. My son is nine, and I think you probably cook way better than him. He only makes quesadillas, and he makes like a, a vegan ranch dressing, but that's it. <laughs> All right, so we're going to open this up, and then we're going to add some fresh spinach. It has to steam. Yeah, we're gonna add all of that. Did you did you get some to try? Did you get some to try? You didn't get? Oh, okay. All right. Oh, it's still steaming. There we go. Okay, so pour in the spinach. And put in one tablespoon of nutritional yeast. That's good. Perfect. Put in your nutritional yeast, one tablespoon. Perfect. And it's done. All right, so this is really hot, but if anybody wants seconds, you guys can come get seconds. Thank you so much. You did great. Thank you. Thank you to my helper. All right. Um, oh, does anybody have any questions or anything about the instant pot? No. <laughs> no? Okay, so we're going to use less oil, right? Oh, yes. I got it at Walmart. I've seen it at Costco. Yeah. They have them at Costco right now, too, for $109. Yes. Is the insert stainless steel or what? It's this one, you mean? Uh, the insert. Oh, sorry, this. Stainless yeah. steel. I think so. Oh. Yeah, I think so. The only thing is um, this plastic part here, you would need to, this comes out. So if you were cooking something sweet, um, you might want to get a separate plastic because this absorbs the flavor of all the savory stuff. So you'll get like a little hint of whatever you had cooked prior if you uh, did something like a cake or something. Uh, so you have to have a separate pot for Not a separate pot, but just this plastic. Uh, it's just a yeah. Uh, yeah. But it tends to absorb that flavor of what it was cooking. Yeah. But if you don't have an instant pot, you could throw all of these ingredients in a slow cooker, or you could do it on the stove. Can it be done in a pressure cooker? Yeah, so this is a pressure cooker. Yeah, yeah. It's everything. It does everything. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I, yeah, it'll cook whatever. Yeah. yeah. Any other questions? So, huh? Oh, this month is National Nutrition Month. I forgot to mention that. And happy Girls' Day to all the girls in the house. Yay! Um, but so between now and maybe your next meeting, um, maybe try to bring something at your next meeting that didn't have oil in it. Um, that might be like a challenge for you guys to do. Maybe um, there's a lot of oil-free salad dressings out there that you can Google that use vinegar, mustard, and that kind of stuff. Yeah? That would be fun. <laughs> All right, thank you guys so much. Thank you.